what is up ATG traders this is Munya and welcome back to my trading channel today I have a strategy and a way of trading that I want to teach you guys that can actually flip and double your accounts and grow your accounts actually so what you're looking at right now is called uh, a BTMM template which basically means for beat the market maker which is a strategy that was taught by uh, Steve Mauro you can go Google him and see what it's all about but it's a very powerful strategy because it allows you to trade in line with the market makers right so there's a, the moment you understand what the market makers are doing you are able to trade in line with them and you are able to beat them in their game okay but before we start as usual if you're new to this channel kindly of click the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so that you are notified each and every time i post a video i'm going to be posting heavily from now onwards probably on a daily basis so you have a new fresh video to watch to improve your trading journey okay and as usual if you want to join our trading community there's a telegram link link in the description box and you can also follow me on instagram for chatting and live updates on what is happening at atg all right and i know i promised you guys a promotion and i said all you have to do is like this video comment down below and the best comment is going to win Free VIP access to my uh, trading uh, signals. Okay, so all you have to do is comment down below. I'll pick a winner on Sunday, and you get to see uh, live trading with me. Okay, so let's get into today's business. Uh, the market closed a uh, few hours ago. It's 9 a.m. right now, but this is the time we actually utilize to make some very powerful trades. So I'm going to be looking at about four uh, pairs and we're going to see what they're going to do for the coming week. So this is uh, GBP AUD and you want to look at how is it going to flip uh, our account this coming week. So looking at uh, this pair, we can actually see quite a number of things from this. Uh, template number one you can actually see the law of the week we actually see the law of the week this is our this was around uh, 7 7 May and you can actually see that this was the lowest price point that priced uh, that the market reached for this pair also we can also see the high of the week which is this top part here and we can see that the moment the price reached the, the high of the week, what did it do? It started to fall, right? It started to fall. This is uh, what BTMM is all about. It's all about identifying peaks, identifying uh, these uh, price movements, identifying these cycles. So you can actually see that this is a complete cycle. We are coming from uh, a bottom, which is a W formation. We push up, we retrace, we push up, we retrace, and then we set the high. And then we start going down back again okay so even without further uh, analysis you can you could actually know that from this uh, from this point up here which was the high of the week we were supposed to go down but as usual we go down in cycles so after the peak has been formed the M formation we have our first pull down and then we have our consolidation level a second push down and we are going to expect another consolidation level at this around this price point right anyway around this stage we're going to expect some consolidation because price cannot move in a straight line price needs to breathe in and out so already people would actually enter into uh sell trades right now and literally double the account why because we already identified the peak the high of the day or some like to call it the high of the week or the high of the month depending on what time frame you're on all right so this is basically an uh, overview of what happened last week let's get into what will happen this week now looking at the four hour time frame because we also we want to have a, a wider view we can also see that we are coming uh, from a peak and the price is now starting draw back down looking at our tdi we also see the same thing we have a shark fin uh formed right here 
for those that literally don't understand this i can teach you this strategy just hit me up from uh, my telegram or from my instagram and you can talk about this so we can actually see this shark fin literally depicting that we are at a peak level we have uh, uh, our, our, our price line pointing down probably because it imitated it imitates what the price is doing right and so we expect price to at least drop to this level right and consolidate further again drop consolidate until it sets the high the, the low of the week right until it sets the low of the week so that's that's uh ga for you let's take a look at gold and see what we have okay same procedure i'm just going to take a quick look at what happened the previous week this is the one week time frame so from the previous week you can actually see that we had peak resets occurring why because here was the high of uh of the week and we were expecting price to start dropping going down but what happened is price dropped to our ema 200 price dropped to our ema 200 and what did it do it reset and then it started to go up and then a very important thing that happened is price broke our previous uh peak which means this is a confirmed peak reset so the only way we are now um, anticipating this market to go is up the only way we are now anticipating this market to go is up why because it just confirmed a reset a reset which basically means a reversal in the in the, uh, in the in the previous trend that the market was going so it okay around here at ema 200 which is where we expect it if you understand btml right and then let's take a look at four hour time frame just to confirm what i'm talking about okay here's the four hour time frame and we can see that there is room for for, for price to keep going up you can see that there is room for price to keep going up right another way one can actually look at it from the four hour time frame can someone can say this was a peak right and then price moved from that peak making the first pull up unfortunately i don't have uh, arrows but price made the first push up right pulled back as usual to form uh, our first level and then from that we expect price to push again up to form the second level and then uh, further up for the final formation right so that's gold for you also we can help, we can also look at this shark fin that we have confirming that we are coming from a lower uh, uh we're coming from a lower peak formation this shark fin on, on our tdi okay taking a look at euro asd let's see what we have this coming quick so usd has been uh let me look at the one hour time frame so that i get uh, what has been happening the previous week okay okay this is euro usd for us our previous week uh we literally set a new high right with a new high this is almost like what uh gold was doing with our new high price dropped consolidated forming the first level dropped again consolidated ema 200 this was supposed to be um this was supposed to be our level two but it actually became a reset because price then shifted looked into the opposite direction but this is not yet confirmed because price is not yet crossed my previous peak so this is not yet confirmed reset so there are two possibilities the price is going to start dropping back down to the 800 uh, ema which is the blue one or price will break my previous peak and confirm the reset but that's just uh, in the lower time frame let's see what's going to happen in the higher time frames actually so taking a look at the forward time frame i want to see 
what the what the market structure is like in the forward time frame. So again, this is a clearly confirmed uh, high of the week because the week starts from here. Yeah, I think this is a clearly confirmed high of the week, and uh, we had our first drop, right? And then we had this pullback. But what I'm seeing right here is price is going to keep uh, pushing up because we have been having this reset, 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 reset. But let's take a look at uh, uh, our TDI and see what it has in store for us. So our TDI is actually showing us the full cycle. This was an M formation, first pullback, TDI, uh, MBL bounce, and uh, level three. So we now we are here, and we want to see what is going to happen. All right. So this is these are the two possibilities that we have. That our MBL is going to form, it's going to go up, come back down and bounce on on our mbl signifying that we are going uh, signifying that we are going up right signifying that we are going up and then we're going to break this previous peak and then start to push up that's euro usd for us let's take a look at uh, usd jpy and see if you can get a possible trade, let me start off from the one hour time frame. So, from the one hour time frame, clearly there's a peak formation at level three on our 800 EMA. Right, price pushed up, consolidated at this level. Price pushed up and consolidated around here. And then dropped to EMA 200 to almost EMA 200. Right now, uh, we need to see what is going to happen the coming week. And let's take a look at the four hour time frame. Uh, what is it? So, from the four hour time frame, we can see that this was a reset. It Initially, the price was going up, then dropped to EMA 200 to form a reset, which is also now a peak, which is now our new peak. So, price is now pushing up, and we expect a reset. Uh, we expect consolidation, sorry. We set price to consolidate just after the Asian session, and then obviously start to push uh, up. Right. Because you are coming. From, from our peak right here, and you expect price to push up. So you can actually see that how is it going to double your, your how it's going to double your account? It's because you're going to get the full cycle of the market. You're going to enter from a peak to a peak. Uh, and that has a lot of peaks because uh, looking at the ADRs of, um, of this pair, you can actually see that in total you can get 311. 17 pips. Let's take a look at gold and see how many pips you can actually get. Okay, it's not updating my pips. But my point is uh, peak to peak formation, uh, peak to peak trading has a lot of pips compassed in within it. All right. So that's all for today. If you want to win, comment down below. If you made it up to this far, thank you very much for watching. Until next time.